What's going on guys, t here, I hope you're all doing well. Now, I haven't uploaded in about a week, sorry about that, but this video is gonna be very exciting. We finally got our official teaser trailer for the Russian DLC for Battlefield 1, In the Name of the Tsar. We're gonna watch it together and we're gonna analyze it together. So without further ado, let's go. As you can see here, we got a new melee weapon, a new knife, some Russian knife. Looks pretty cool, that's the first thing I noticed, let's go. Obviously winter maps, snow maps, looks awesome. It seems very open, so this is gonna be sniper's heaven, I presume. We got two new bomber planes, or one new bomber planes, but we can see two of them in the screen. Looks very interesting, you actually have a closed cockpit. I don't think they will actually be much different than the existing bomber, but maybe we can see new loadouts for the bomber. Currently we have three different loadouts. Nevertheless, looks pretty cool, another new content, I like it so far. What we can see here is the new bomber as I said, plus this is most likely the Mosin Nagant, first person, awesome. Like we said, it was pretty much confirmed, but it's nice to see it, it looks awesome. We got on one of the maps the confirmed behemoth, which is just a regular, I believe a regular, it's got a cool camo on it, not sure if it's the existing pre-order bonus camo, but it looks very cool. Obviously we got the new cavalry class, I don't know again if this is a different cavalry class or is this a different loadout for the existing cavalry class. Nevertheless we got a spear or a lance or however you want to call it, it looks awesome. We got the MG14 Parabellum, this already was in one of the concept art designs, you can see it in this image. This guy is holding this gun, so again first person gameplay, looks pretty awesome. Hey guys, you see this? This is the Remington 1900 double barreled shotgun. Already made a video on it, gonna link it down in the description below. Also, at the background, I don't know if you noticed, first of all, we have a flying Hewitt, but we do have some old mortar cannons, or I don't know what exactly those are. It could be just a prop, maybe not playable, but it would be cool if they were playable. I reckon they don't actually, maybe it's just an in-game prop. Here you can see again a new tank. I'm pretty sure this is a tank and not an armored truck because look at how it looks. And it got a bunch of weapons on it. It looks like it has two rear facing guns or even cannons. Is this a cannon? It looks awesome. And we got this brutal clip of this cavalry class just penetrating this guy with his lance or spear. Awesome. Wagner. It says here the most extensive Battlefield 1 expansion yet or the most extensive Battlefield expansion yet and I tell you what they mean by it. This is the biggest front of World War 1 and with it we're bringing you six new maps, six new maps, six new maps. We're gonna get six new maps. Yes, you heard that correctly, we got six new maps, which is freaking awesome. As you all know, most DLCs got four new maps, and in the name of the SAR DLC, we're gonna get six new maps. So that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Very good move on DICE's part, because everybody's complaining about the lack of content and stuff like that. So, adding six new maps with the new DLC is a very good move by them. So yeah guys, that was the trailer, looks freaking amazing, can't wait to play it. Bad thing is, we're gonna get it in September, September is so far away. So I guess they kind of compensated for the fact they're gonna bring 6 new maps, but a couple of things I wanna add as well. The cavalry class is called the Hussar Cavalry, and obviously the women's battalion of death, which most likely is gonna be the scout players. They also announced a lot of new assignments and specializations. What they exactly mean by that, we have to wait and see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, this quick little breakdown. If you have any information that I have missed, please put it in the comments below. And let me know what you think of this trailer, it looks pretty amazing. I'm gonna leave the link to the original trailer in the description below. With that being said, please leave a like on the video, it really helps the channel out. Also subscribe if you're new around here, you definitely wanna do that. And i see you guys next time.